Hey, what's up everybody? It's Nate here, and I am back working on the Vader. I've got all the pieces lined up here. I've got the, this is the version one helmet. I'm still working on the version two. I've got to do some, uh, some more bondoing and smoothing out, but it's just about ready for a primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these pieces. I got the shoulder bells. Let me see if I can get it down here. Got the shoulder bell, one of them. The other shoulder bells over here. I've got the helmet. The version one helmet, the dome version one, the shins, and the chest at the end there. I had to put it at the end just because it's uh, the top part kind of touches the wood, and I didn't want it to mess the paint up. But the oh, first thing I'm going to do is you probably heard my compressor just kick off. I'm going to I'm going to blow these things off, and then I'll probably I might wipe them down with a tack cloth or something. So. Let me do that first. Might actually get something to set those on too because they got to paint like the under part. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is hit them with another uh, light coat of the black, the flat black, before I do the, I have duplicolor gloss. <laughs> All these pieces are either like, you know, it's like polished, polished helmet, which this gloss is not super, super glossy, so I can polish it if I want. Um, I actually just polished it with uh, some ceramic, like car polish that I used on my Darth Vader, or not my Darth Vader, my Death Trooper. And I might do that on some of these pieces, I don't know. Some of them are like glossier than others, but it's just kind of tricky. I don't think we're gonna be going for a 501st approval, I just want it to look like super awesome. I mean, if it can get approved eventually, then we'll do upgrades to it and make it approvable, but um, I just want it to look awesome for my friend. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hit it with a coat, and then come back and do the gloss. All right.
Okay, so I just hit those with a light coat of, of the flat black and I'm just gonna let them sit for a little bit until, they, until they're not, they not shiny anymore to where it's kind of a little bit dry. Within, the, within an hour, I'm gonna hit it with this clear coat. Just, I, I tried on the Death Trooper, I did, I let it sit and fully cured the paint before I clear coated and I had a little bit of cracking. And I had to redo some stuff. And when I redid it, I did it a couple different ways. I tried to do it the same way where I just let it dry and then I clear coated it. And then I did it where it was just still kind of wet. Not really wet, but it wasn't fully cured. And I had better luck that way. Um, the, all this paint is just kind of tricky. I mean, honestly, <laughs> it's when I did it with the automotive uh, clear coat, I had problems with that too on some things. So it's just, uh, painting is a pain, honestly. it's uh, I don't really enjoy it, this part, all that much. I like the making, building it, you know, piecing it together. And I like the finished product, of course, but the painting part is probably my least favorite part, just because every little thing can affect it. Like the weather, it's been super humid lately. That could affect it, uh, super hot that can affect it there's just so many things so uh, i'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and then we'll come back and we're gonna do duplicolor acrylic enamel clear coat all right All right, so I did just a light a light clear coat on these pieces, and you can see, I mean, they've got a little bit of shine to them, but they're not, I didn't, I just barely coated them, as you could tell, um, just to get the paint to stick on there. And when I was doing the Dutch Trooper, I realized that just a lighter first coat, and it even says on the can, you know, a really light first coat, and the second one, kind of cake it on there a little bit more. And then after that, I'll do a third coat, where it's, or I do it pretty thick, until it, I don't want a whole bunch of orange peel. If I have it, I'll just wet sand it and maybe do a light coat over top of that or something. But we'll see how it, how it looks when we get to that point. But first coat, I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes, come back, and then I'll do another coat.
All right, so I got everything coated three times. Um, there's some spots that I'm kind of, I don't know what I did to this dome right here. There's like a slit in, in the side of it, but uh, all the parts look pretty good. There's one of the shoulder bells. My helmet, let me see if I can turn it around a little bit. And yeah, there's the helmet. Of course, these are going to be painted again with a different color. Got to use that. Uh, uh, I think it was. Uh, it's some kind of gray. I can't remember the exact name. The exact name of it. The dome looks good. The shins look really good. They're super. They're super shiny. There's another shoulder bell, and then the chest. The chest turned out really good too. But there is a couple spots that are. I can't tell if it's a run or if it's just. Or what it is but i'll figure it out i guess tomorrow after this dries overnight anyways guys that's a little update on the death trooper or not death trooper i don't know why i keep doing that probably because i spent so long on the death trooper but the darth vader <laughs> there it is right there so that's a little update on vader and some clear coat and some painting um, now we're just going to, I'm probably going to let that sit for a good three days before I even mess with them. But uh, I'm definitely going to be working on the other helmet though, the version too. So y'all stay tuned for the next one. I'll see y'all then. All right, bye.